The Oxford Food Bank has been going 10 years. It's a volunteer-led organisation and what we do is we collect surplus fruit and vegetables, bread and dairy from supermarkets and wholesalers uh, in Oxfordshire and we redistribute that to charities, most of whom are cooking for people uh, so the wider benefits of the food and that food would have been wasted otherwise. Uh, the Oxford Food Bank operates seven days a week, so a typical day uh, volunteers come in in the morning and load up the van. So most days we have about six shifts um, and between them they'll take out about well over a tonne of food, I would say, uh, and also bring back another tonne of food. <laughs> so it's a constant process of you know, delivering and collecting basically. Um, we've grown fairly steadily, organically. Uh, we add a few charities every month I would say. Uh, and now we work with over 140 groups, most of whom we actually deliver to and then others come in here and get food if that suits them better. Um, and we've now got over 30 suppliers as well and most of those we collect from seven days a week. I think when we first contacted Unipart we did have one specific need, uh, quite a pressing one actually, because uh, we wanted to quantify exactly how much food we collected and delivered and what the retail value of that was. So we did three things for the Oxford Food Bank from Unipark's perspective. First thing we did was some visual management. Uh, they have an area of dry goods storage which had paper labels that were stuck with sellotape. So we just took the principle of visual management to see and understand things very clearly and very quickly and did some magnetic bright uniform labels with arrows pointing to the right places. So their dry food storage was dealt with properly and quickly. So that was one very simple thing we did. We're in the midst of something called a 5S project, so we're going to sift, sort, sweep, standardise and sustain an area where they've got things they don't use so often and it's turned into a bit of a dumping ground. So we've got some new racking for them uh, and we're going to put that in place and then organise and label everything that they need really quickly at the bottom, put the less, less used stuff at the top. But I guess the biggest thing we did for them was some data collection. It's very difficult for them to spend the time doing this, so they were really appreciative that we wanted to somehow demonstrate how much they save in the community. So they wanted to know how much weight they take from, from suppliers and from wholesalers and from supermarkets and how much that is in retail value. That way they can, they can talk to donators and sponsors and say exactly how much they save, which is really powerful. So what we did was we designed a sheet that would collect the data of when the food was coming in, what it was, how much it weighed and its retail value. Did that over a period of three weeks with volunteers from the DC, from Unipart House. Uh, and that, that really was a, a great thing for us to do because they just don't have the time to do it themselves. It's been really great to implement this with them. It's, I, I think first of all, as they're a charity, they're really appreciative of the help. Uh, and colleagues were coming along, very, very Unipart, um, Unipart way type colleagues or, or leadership type colleagues. So they saw the professionalism uh, and, and the, um, the, the joy that it was for us to actually do this because it's really beneficial. It's something we can tangibly help the, the you know, saving food that's going to be thrown away uh, and then do something really tangible to help them uh, um, deliver that to people who really need it. So it was really fulfilling for us. Uh, and really appreciated by the team who work here because they just literally don't have the time to do this kind of stuff. I think this, uh, this example at the Oxford Food Bank is really uh, a fantastic one to, to consider for more of our colleagues around the country because it's not that you have to necessarily just give cash or give time, but you're actually using tools that they can use, really simple tools such as visual management. You, you're giving them that to, so that they can use again and again and again and have benefit over a longer period. Uh, so I think it's a really smart thing for us to be doing, to, to give them practical help rather than just give them cash or give them time. The Oxford Food Bank has always relied on the support of the wider community, um, that's individuals but particularly businesses. Um, a lot, most of our funding actually comes from local businesses and large donors and grants and trusts as well. So we wouldn't be able to survive actually without them. And as I said, the the additional benefits of helping us with our logistics here, you know, sorting out our warehouse and helping us with weighing and quantifying. That's huge. And the analysis being conducted by Unipart volunteers now indicates that the Oxford Food Bank services are saving around a million pounds a year of good quality food from being scrapped. Instead, it's now being turned into meals for a wide range of charities.